Today, we're going to talk about how to check the live video feed and save the video files on Hike Central Professional. This video will cover the following steps device configuration and application. Let's get started. First, add a device on Hike Central Professional. Open the web client and log in. You have two options to start the configuration. One, click video on the control panel and follow the steps shown on the page. Two, click wizard. If this is your first time using Hike Central Professional, we recommend starting this way. In this video, we will show you how to complete configuration process using the wizard. Step one, add encoding device. First, enter the basic information such as protocol, IP address, username and password. Then, define the resource information to import all or some of the channels to Hike Central Professional. Second, set record schedule. If you have set up a recording schedule on the device, please keep video storage on and select Get Devices Record Schedule. If not, you can also save the video files in the recording server connected to Hike Central Professional. In this video, the recording schedule of the device has been enabled. Click Add to finish. After the device has been successfully added, you can enter the device page to do settings by selecting Remote Configuration. Go to Area to check the recording schedule. You can also manage resources such as cameras, alarm input or output, and so on here. Or click the camera name to rename it so that it can be easily identified. You can also enable or disable the recording schedule or see the recording schedule here from the device. Edit storage location. Edit or set up a customized recording schedule template. Then click Save to save the settings. Now let's talk about how to configure a map settings. Click Set Geographic Location to go to the Map Settings page. The GIS map and eMap options are all available. In this video, we will use the eMap as an example. Click Add Map to upload a plan picture. Now we can put cameras or other resources on the map by dragging and dropping the resources. Click the icon and choose Edit Detection Area to edit the detection range or angle. Alright, that's the configuration part. Now let's check the application part of Live View next. Go to Control Client, go to Monitoring and find the area. Double click the camera name. You will find a self adapting layout to check the live video or you can select the Window Division option to set the layout you need. You can enter, for example, 4, 9, 16, etc. Click Open Auxiliary screen to open more windows if you need. You can open up to four windows for each client. You can also save the layout as View so as to find the live video of those cameras quickly. We also have some popular options in the toolbar, such as Instant Playback, fisheye dewarding, camera status, and stream type, etc. You can click and try our other options. The second part, playback. Click the playback button to check video files. Enable show thumbnail to find the files you need very quickly. Click synchronize the playback to synchronize the playtime of video files. If you need to download the video files of cameras in operation, select Export All. Drag the bracket to add the download duration. Choose the file type and set password for MP4 or executive file. And go to Download Center to see the downloading process. Click the file name so as to find the download files and play it. Double click the file and input the password if needed. Now let's go back to the Control Client and check some popular options in the toolbar. The first one is Lock. Add Lock to important files to keep them from being overwritten when the hard drive is full. 
We also have VCA search, camera status, and more. You can click and try other options. Now let's go to video search to search video files with various options. We have three options here. Search video footage, search video on device, and VCA search. For example, let's check the files where the lock has been used. Click the file and play or unlock the file. You can also search files based on VCA rules, dynamic analysis, line crossing, and intrusion. For example, let's search files with dynamic analysis. After you draw an area and click search, you will get all of the files with dynamic analysis. Let's see what else you might need to check out on the control client. Click the system configuration option and that page will guide you to general settings and video settings. Be sure to see the display settings and customized options in your toolbar. Alright, that's it for live view and playback. Now we can go back to monitoring and see how it looks with a map. Double-click the map option and you will see the map with live cameras. Click the camera icon to check the live video on the map as well as check the camera's alarm status. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more how-to and instructional videos. Hike Central Professional, versatile security in one platform.